Dreallday.com. What's up, everybody? Dre Ball, one Dreallday.com. This is the next video in the What Should I Do series. Any of you have a What Should I Do question, you describe your situation in the comments. And then if there's some advice that you're looking for, you ask me specifically what it is, what advice it is you're looking for, and I'll tell you what you should do for those of you who have that more external frame of reference that I talked about before. Now, the next question is coming from Cole. He says, I play vol volleyball for a 17 and under team, and there's no team in my age group, but there is a team for people who are 18 and under, so a little bit older players. I'm the best player in my position, at my age but for the above age there's a whole lot of talent so there are a lot of players who are better than him at the higher level team he says he doesn't know if all of them are going to try out but he's heard that some of them don't and he doesn't even live in the city where that main team is so he would have to drive in or stay with some family but if he doesn't make it his question is if he doesn't make this team should he just move on and try again next year because he really wants to get scouted by a university and he wants to be seen before next year at the same time because then it would be kind of late if he waits till next year. He's been facing knee injuries, hasn't been playing at his full potential, and he doesn't want to make a bad impression. All right, well, here's the thing, Cole. Your question really doesn't have too many options because you said that playing for this team, trying out for this team is your opportunity to get seen. And your goal, based on your question, what I'm saying is that you want to get scouted for a university. That's the number one goal, to get scouted for a university. And to get scouted for that university, what you probably need to do is get seen either being on that team or in the act of trying out for that team, right? That's how you're going to get seen. That university team, not university, but that 18 and under team is your number one option as far as you can see to get yourself seen for college. That's what you want, right? So you're asking me... If you don't make it, should you just move on and try again next year? But you said that would be kind of late next year. So why are you even focusing on that? I actually made a video. It's going to be a weekly motivation. It didn't come out yet by the time that you all see this. But it's about canceling your purchase order. A purchase order is when you say you want to do something, but then canceling it is I say I want to do something, then I say but, and then I give all the reasons why it wouldn't work out. You can't. You got to stop canceling your purchase orders, Cole. You can't say you want to do something and then give all the reasons why you won't make it. You say, I want to play for this 18 and under team. It's a higher level, but it's loaded with talent. But all these players are better than me. But I have a knee injury. But maybe I should just focus on next year, trying out next year. Listen, you're giving yourself all the reasons why it won't work and then asking if you should try. Do you want it or do you not? Because if you want it, then you need to start focusing on how you can make it work instead of why it won't work. So that's the number one thing you should do. Actually, number one thing is understand that your number one option is to try out for this team so you can get seen for university. So stop thinking about if or. Just do what you got to do, which is try out for that team, which you already have clearly stated is your best opportunity. Number two thing is to stop canceling your purchase orders with all these reasons why things won't work out for you. Because every time you think and say those things, you're canceling the chance of it happening. You're telling the universe, you know what? I don't really want that. I said I wanted it, but you know what? I really don't because I'm giving you all the reasons why I don't want it, all the reasons why I won't work, all the reasons why I'm not good enough, all the reasons why the timing's not right. Every time you do that, you're canceling everything you said before. You just negated your whole argument for yourself. You're arguing against yourself pretty much here. So stop doing that. Then he's saying you've been facing knee injuries, you haven't been playing at your full potential, don't want to make a bad impression. Well, listen, Cole. If you're good enough to make the team, you're good enough to make the team. If your knee is too injured for you to play, then you can't play. If you're injured, then don't play. Now, are you injured or are you not? If you can play, then you can play. You'll get on the court, the volleyball court, and show what you can do. If you're too injured to try out, then, this, then you wouldn't even be asking me this question, right? So I don't think you're in a situation where you can't play. And the thing is this, Cole, when we're talking about your knee situation, of course, I don't know your body. I don't know what you're feeling exactly. But based on the way that you worded this question, I think you're in good enough shape to get on the court. Because if your knee was too injured to get on the court, then you wouldn't even be asking me this question, right? So this is the thing. The physical follows the mental. You had to figure out, okay, I might have a situation with my knee, but... This opportunity is my opportunity to get what I really want because we already figured out what you really want, right? So once you figure that out, this is what I really want, 
Now you got to put yourself mentally in a space where, okay, all my resources, all my physical, mental, spiritual, emotional resources need to be going towards what does Cole need to do to get me in a position to play as best I can to get to seize this opportunity. So if that means you need to ignore whatever your knee is feeling, whatever your stomach, whatever you're feeling in your stomach, whatever problems you had at school the week before, whether your girlfriend is getting on your nerves or your boyfriend, whoever, whatever your situation is, I don't know if you, this is even a male or a female, you need to put yourself in a situation mentally, where I talked about this, three tips you need for tryouts. Put yourself in a state mentally where every resource you have is focused on the goal which is you performing at your highest level so that you can show your game. If you go into the tryout thinking about your knee, thinking about making a bad impression, thinking about how much talent all the other guys have, thinking about why next year would be a better time to try out, you know what, you might as well not even show up because these are all reasons why it won't work out. So you need to eliminate all these excuses, eliminate all these cancels for your purchase order, focus on what you need to do, which is make a good impression, Make the team so you can get scouted for university because that's what you want. Anyone else have a question for what should I do? Of course, like I said, leave it in the comments. Give me a detailed description of your situation. Ask me a question exactly what it is you want me to advise you on, and I'll do it. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com. Checking out this video. Make sure you follow all my top content up here. Follow me on all your favorite social networks right over here. And make sure you are subscribed to catch all the new content I put on on this channel every single day work on your game